Polyglycerol polyris anoliate, E476, is an emulsifier made in a three-step process from glycerol and fatty acids. PGPR reduces the viscosity of chocolate and similar coatings and compounds. It works by decreasing the friction between the particles of cacao, sugar, milk, etc. present so they can flow more easily when melted. It can be used at low levels. However, ingredients lists and chocolate are typically listed before the 2% and under section. This indicates it could be above 1% of the total product. It is made up of a short chain of glycerol molecules connected by ether bonds, with ricinoleic acid side chains connected by ester bonds. PGPR is a yellowish, viscous liquid composed of polyglycerol esters of polycondensed fatty acids from castor oil. It may also be polyglycerol esters of dimerized fatty acids of soybean oil. PGPR is strongly lyopapillic, soluble in fats and oils, and insoluble in water and ethyl alcohol. In chocolates, it is used as a viscosity reducing agent. It is virtually always paired with lecithin or another plastic viscosity reducing agent. It can also be used as an emulsifier in spreads and in salad dressings or as a crystal inhibitor and anti-louding agent in fractionated vegetable oils. In a 1998 review funded by Unilever of safety evaluations from the late 1950s and early 1960s, PGPR was found to be 98% digested by rats and utilized as a source of energy superior to starch and nearly equivalent to ground nut oil. Additionally, no evidence was found of interference with normal fat metabolism, nor with growth, reproduction, and maintenance of tissue. Overall, it did not constitute a human health hazard. The Food and Drug Administration has officially deemed PGPR safe for human consumption, setting the accepted daily intake from 0 to 7.5 mg per kilogram of body weight. Short-term studies on rats and chickens showed reversible liver enlargement as a result of higher doses of PGPR, but those were deemed a result of increased hepatic workload. Manufacture, glycerol is heated to above 200 degrees Celsius in a reactor in the presence of an alkaline catalyst to create polyglycerol. Castor oil fatty acids are separately heated to above 200 degrees Celsius, to create intrasterified ricinoleic fatty acids. The polyglycerol and the intrasterified ricinoleic fatty acids are then mixed to create PGPR. Use in chocolate candy bars, PGPR is used by chocolate makers to reduce their costs of raw materials. Since 2006, commercial grade candy bars, such as those made by Hershey's and Nestle Copyright, made an industry wide switch to include PGP as an ingredient, a possible indicator of a cost saving measure by the commercial chocolate industry. Makers of PGPR, such as Danisco and Palsgard, indicate PGPR can be used to replace the traditional but more expensive cocoa butter as an ingredient in chocolate. Palsgard's website asserts, cocoa butter is an expensive raw material for chocolate manufacturers. By using Palsgard 4150 the chocolate recipe has lower costs in terms of less cocoa butter but also gives the benefit of having less fat. However, the 1996 study conducted by Andrew Waterhouse of UC Davis which discovered the phenols in chocolate also revealed that these antioxidants come from cocoa butter and the stearic acid it produces. It demonstrated that the phenols prevented LDL cholesterol from building up in arteries. Another study had subjects follow diets in which the majority of fat calories come from either chocolate or butter. Only those with the butter fat diet showed an increase in LDL cholesterol. See also, Compound Chocolate. References. External links, PGPR replacing cocoa butter in chocolate.